guys welcome back to builds and I'd like to introduce you to a brand new series on my channel so as you know we have the vehicle tutorial series and I'm creating a section of this vehicle tutorial series which I'm sure most of you will like so this series was suggested to me or brought to me by a player on my server called I stuck I the builder of this awesome looking vehicle straight in front of me right now and basically I've been playing GTA 5 a lot and <laughs> that's been uh, one of the reasons for me not actually uploading that much recently is because the game is so good, so addictive, it's amazing on PC guys, I'd highly recommend it to any of you guys that like first person shooters, uh, like free roam games, absolutely amazing. So he brought out, you know, this car on my game, I said I need some Grand Theft Auto 5 style cars and he went yeah sure and he built a uh, sports sedan which is the vehicle we have straight in front of me. It's like a uh, coupe kind of sporty car or saloon family four-door sporty car. And we have the coupe version, of course, in front of us right now. That would be the two-door version. And guys, just check this out, you know. I like it when people create cars that are a little bit unique because you see a lot of vehicles on Minecraft which look very similar to other ones because, you know, within the seven by three block space we have right here, there's not that much that you can do, you know? And iStark has brought us quite a different type of car right here. So, since this is a tutorial, let's get into it. And I'm going to show you guys how to build it. So, for our first material, this is going to be your main, your primary color for the car. So, he's chosen red stained clay here. And I think this is a really nice contrast between the black, the white, and the red. So, you guys could go for yellow, you could go for orange, blue, green, you know, whatever, you know, you want. Then, of course, you're going to need some glowstone for the front lights. And you're going to want to get some uh, item frames, some signs, some red carpet. You're going to need some snow right here. So if I just get out that. And uh, what else are we going to get to start off? You're going to need some white stained glass, some black carpet, some black stained glass panes for the wind mirrors, some quartz stairs on the back some snow slates and some I think these are never bricks at the back uh, this is on the builds texture pack guys so if you guys want to download it head down below to that description and you guys can build in the same pack as me which is basically my version of customized flows HD using some modern pretty cool texture packs along with some of my own creations so if we start this off you're gonna want to place three of your selected color block so for right here it's a uh, red stained clay you're going to want to place one wheel here one here leave a free gap in the middle and then place two more so they're all symmetrical now you're going to want to get out your red stained clay or whatever color you guys chose put it like this one in the middle here one through the wheels and three on the back and now you've got your primary kind of base of the car now for the kind of bonnet design, you know it's quite hard to make streamlined looking vehicles on Minecraft because it is a block game and of course blocks are not very streamlined. But we've managed to do it quite well just using some snow right here. So now we're just going to go ahead and get ourselves out some white stained glass right here. We're going to place one, two, three here, one, two here, and one at the back middle like so. You can now head over and get yourself some quartz stairs place two on the back is kind of the sloping of the back end of the car you're going to want to get some snow again place these i think these are two in height guys like this looks pretty mean and then just some black carpet for the topping we're going to place everything here except for this little middle block right here which i'm going to show you guys why in a second the wind mirrors you can go with some normal glass but we are using some black stained glass panes right here i think they look a little bit cooler you know they kind of fit the theme with the black color of the wheels you know it all goes together quite nicely now the wheels you're just going to go ahead and place down some of these item frames right here you're then going to go get yourself some black stained glass panes place them inside the wheel like so and then you're going to overlay these with some buffers so if i just get these out right here for you guys I'm going to show you how to do this. So you're just going to click on the outer edge of the block so it goes nicely in the item frame. A lot of people still don't know this to today. You don't have to place them down first. Just place on the back of the block and it will happen for you. Get yourselves out some signs. Place them on this side. 
and on this side. I guess what you could do is maybe put a few little lines on there, some colored lines maybe, uh, and you could tweak it. You could maybe have some side grills. You know, be creative, guys. Make this your own car as well. You know, you can customize it however you want. Take the car that step further. Now you're going to want to place two glow stone in here like so, and you're just going to want to overlay it with some signs. So here, you should put something like Sports Sudan or, you know, built by iStock. Because remember, guys, if you're going to build this on a server, please do give iStock I some credit because he did design this awesome car for you guys. So, I'm going to just quickly run to the back of the car, and then I'm going to tell you that little detail that we have right outside there. Let's get ourselves up some signs again. I'm going to place one in the back to built by like built by iStock I. And then you can just put down some item frames right here, like so. Some block of redstone. Oh, it's the redstone in this HD pack. Yeah, redstone would also look good in Flow's HD, but if you uh, download mine, you get this kind of cool brownie colored like redstone brick, which I think does look pretty damn neat. I haven't actually seen that on the pack before. <laughs> I can't remember when I put that one on. So we get inside here. This is a cool little feature. So what he's done right here is he has put his own playhead inside, as you can see, which is quite realistic, I guess, if you think about it. And all you're going to need to do this, and I do believe it is actually doable on a single player world now, is just get yourselves out ahead, go slash goal, and then all you need to do is put the player name of the player that you want to put inside there. So say you want to put me inside it, you can just put builds like that and then you have the play ahead of builds whoops I don't think we had that selected on our head right there so there you go put me inside <laughs> like that looking pretty derpy and then of course just put a carpet over the top it will place because a play ahead is recognized as a block underneath and just put your player right in there and this is something that I believe that we've shown to I stuck by a builder on my server and a YouTuber called Zaris or Zaris HD as he's known, which is basically guys where you put a block here and then from the inside you place a hooper hopper just up against it like that as Corrales would say. And it basically creates this little effect that we have right here. It kind of looks like, um, I don't know what you would call it, like a gas cap where you go fill up your uh, you know, car with petrol or diesel or electric I guess if you have a plug there and that is how you do that but just for now I'm going to place some normal hoppers right there so that is the tutorial done I want to thank you all so much for watching tell me what you think about this new series do you like it please drop a like down below if you do leave me some feedback in the comment section below it is always greatly appreciated and guys I will catch you in the next one hopefully we should have another villa series video on its way tonight or tomorrow early afternoon. Thanks so much for watching. Builds here, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you in the next one. Thanks for being awesome.